Okay, let's talk about it. AI, machine learning, deep learning, LLMs, you hear these terms thrown around all the time, right? And honestly, it feels like people use them to mean the same thing. So what's the actual difference? Well, stick with me for the next few minutes and we are gonna make this super, super clear. Yeah, let's just cut right through all that noise. My goal here is pretty simple. I wanna show you exactly what each of these terms means and probably more importantly, how they all fit together. It's kind of like a set of nesting dolls. By the end of this, you're gonna see the whole picture, I promise. So let's start with the biggest piece of the puzzle, the outer shell, if you will. All right, first up, artificial intelligence. This is the big one. This is the concept that really started it all, the giant umbrella term that covers literally everything else we're gonna talk about today. So the key thing to get here is that AI isn't a thing. It's more like a, a dream. It's the entire field of study. It's this huge, ambitious goal of making machines that can think and reason and solve problems kind of like we do. Think of it less as a specific technology and more like the whole field of aeronautics or biology. And you know what? You might be surprised by how simple some AI can be. Seriously, think about a basic computer game of tic-tac-toe. That's AI. It's just following a bunch of hard-coded rules, you know? If they go here, then I go there. It's mimicking human strategy for sure, but, and this is so important, it isn't actually learning anything. It's just following its programming to the letter. And that distinction, that idea of not learning, brings us perfectly to our next level. If AI is the big overarching goal, then machine learning is a much, much smarter way to get there. This is where things start to get really clever. So here is the absolute game changer. With old school AI, a programmer had to sit down and write out every single possible rule by hand. A total nightmare. But with machine learning, you don't do that. Instead, you just feed the machine a ton of data, like mountains of it, and you let it figure out the patterns on its own. It literally learns from experience, you know, kind of like how we learn. The perfect example of this is your email spam filter. Think about it. Nobody programmed it with a list of every single spammy word in existence. That would be impossible. Instead, developers just showed it millions and millions of emails, some spam, some not, and it just learned. It figured out for itself what junk mail looks like. See, that's AI, but achieved through learning. Okay, but we can go even deeper. Inside the world of machine learning, there's a super powerful technique that is behind pretty much all of the coolest breakthroughs you see today, and that is called deep learning. So why deep? What makes it so deep? Well, the name comes from something called artificial neural networks, and these are complex systems that are actually inspired by the way our own brains are wired. They have all these layers of neurons, and each layer learns to spot a simple pattern. The next layer then combines those simple patterns into something more complex, and so on and so on. This layered approach lets them make sense of really, really messy data, like images or sound. And this is the magic behind so much of the tech you use every single day. Unlocking your phone with your face? That's deep learning. Asking Siri or Alexa for the weather? Deep learning again. A self-driving car figuring out the difference between a person and a stop sign? You guessed it. All these things deal with super complex stuff like images and audio. And that is where deep learning really, really shines. And now we arrive at the one you've probably been hearing about nonstop. We're going one final level deeper into a specific and frankly revolutionary type of deep learning. I'm talking about large language models, or as everyone calls them, LLMs. The name pretty much says it all, right? They're large because they've been trained on an absolutely mind-boggling amount of text data. We're talking a huge portion of the entire internet. And they're language models because that training has made them hyper-specialized masters of one thing and one thing only, understanding and generating human language. And yeah, you definitely know these names. ChatGPT, Google's model, Claude. These are all LLMs. Every time you ask one of them to write an email for you, or explain a complex topic, or even tell you a joke, its ability to understand what you're asking and give you a coherent answer, that all comes from this very specific, very intense, deep learning training on language. Okay, whew, that was a lot. So let's take a second and put all the pieces together. I think a simple analogy here will really help lock this all in place for good. So think of it like this, step one, Artificial intelligence is the entire field, the big dream of making machines smart. Step two, machine learning is a way to achieve that dream by having them learn from data. Step three, deep learning is an even more powerful type of machine learning that uses those brain-inspired neural networks. 
And finally, step four, LLMs are a very special, cutting-edge type of deep learning that focuses only on language. At the end of the day, the absolute best way to picture all this is like those Russian nesting dolls, you know, where each one fits perfectly inside the next. LLMs are a type of deep learning, deep learning is a type of machine learning, and machine learning is one of the main ways we try to achieve the huge overarching goal of artificial intelligence. Simple as that. So there you have it. AI is the big dream. Machine learning is the method of learning from data. Deep learning is the powerful engine that uses neural nets to do it, and LLMs are the specialized models that have mastered language. We've figured out the what, but it kind of leaves you with an even bigger question, doesn't it? How exactly do these things learn to understand us? How do you teach a machine what a word like justice or sadness really means? Now that is something to chew on.